This is my collection of Emperor's Children, a Chaos Space Marine army from the Warhammer 40,000 universe. They're beautiful, they're excessive, but they weren't always mine. In fact, I never intended to collect them until my friend Tom made me an offer I couldn't refuse. He challenged me to a game of Warhammer 40k. If I won, he'd give me this entire army. For context, these miniatures are not cheap. This army could reasonably sell for about $5,000. So why would this madman be willing to risk such a thing? And who are the Emperor's children that would make them so special in the first place? Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com, and in this video, I'll show you all the gorgeously painted minis in this collection. But first, let's find out who they are, where they come from, and why they're viewed with a mix of awe and disgust. Welcome, Wargamers, to the grim darkness of the far future, the universe of Warhammer 40,000. In the 41st millennium, there is only war. Mankind teeters on the brink of extinction beset on all sides by aliens, heretics, and demons. At the center of humanity's struggle stands the Emperor of Mankind, a perpetual and psychic powerhouse who unified Earth and launched the Great Crusade to reclaim the galaxy. To lead his vast armies, he created the 20 Primarchs, his genetically engineered sons, each a demigod of war and leadership. These Primarchs commanded the Space Marine Legions, superhuman warriors known as the Adeptus Astartes. Among them was Fulgrim, the Phoenician, epitome of perfection and the Primarch of the Emperor's children. Fulgrim and his legion were obsessed with achieving perfection in all forms, art, combat, and aesthetics. They bore the Emperor's personal insignia an honor signifying their pursuit of excellence and unblemished record. Their quest for perfection drove them to unparalleled heights, but also sowed the seeds of their downfall. During the campaign of the alien world of Laren, Fulgrim acquired a demon-possessed sword. Unbeknownst to him, it was a conduit to the chaos god Slanesh, the Prince of Excess. Slanesh embodies obsession, excess, and hedonism. The corruption seeped into Fulgrim's soul, twisting his pursuit of perfection into a decadent spiral of sensation and indulgence. The Legion succumbed to chaos, turning their backs on the Emperor. They embraced chaos undivided, but primarily worshipped Slanesh, seeking new extremes of experience and sensation, no matter how depraved. Their betrayal culminated in the Horus Heresy, a galaxy-wide civil war. The Emperor's children fought against their former brothers, aiming to reshape the galaxy into a realm of endless excess under Slanesh's influence. Their strengths lie in the relentless pursuit of new ways to wage war. They pioneered sonic weaponry, making use of cacophonous blasts that could shatter both body and mind. Their combat is as much psychological as it is physical. However, their unsatiable lust for excess is also their greatest weakness. It drives them to reckless actions, overextension, and infighting, as each seeks to outdo the other in acts of depravity. Even among the other Chaos Legions, they are viewed with a mix of awe and disgust. Their allies consider them unpredictable, their loyalty only to their own desires and to Slanesh. Fulgrim himself has become a demon prince of Slanesh, shedding his humanity entirely. His fall serves as a grim reminder of the corrupting power of Chaos. In the endless war of the 41st millennium, the Emperor's children continue their quest for excess leaving ruin in their wake. Their story is a tragic tale of ambition twisted into obsession, a perfection corrupted by chaos. If we're talking about this army, then you're probably thinking about heavy metal, and you're probably thinking about the old school things, and the things that are behind you are done that way on purpose. Nostalgia. Uh, yeah, it is a gorgeous army, and I do like feeling it. Going back to this, you're also missing the cultists. I'm missing the cultists. I love how like there's so many minis here, which is absurd in and of itself. You're like, yeah, you're missing. <laughs> is there anything else missing in this? No, just the cultists and uh, tentacle here on this uh, molar I love how you know. You can take a look at the army. By the way, off camera, and Tom's like, yeah, that's missing. And then yeah, you got to put Fabius Weil in there because he's also not there. And uh, yeah, and the dudes that go with Fabius and yeah, the cultists yeah, and the cultists. Yeah, that's right. They were an important part because they were color matched to match the army. Do you know what I kind of feel like sometimes? I feel like um, I bought the privilege to park your army here. But maybe. <laughs> right, because you're looking at it and it's like, hey, why isn't that, that's, 
Like you, <laughs> you, you know intimate things about it that I don't think about. Yeah, I maybe, just see plastic. And maybe have a launcher here. <laughs> oh, because that's magnetized, and there should be. Yeah, a havoc launcher there and there. Yeah, that's that's true. Maybe an actual havoc launcher. Maybe here's your havoc launcher. Okay, you wanted a havoc launcher. There. Yeah. That was no longer missing. Now we just got to magnetize it. <laughs> So what do you think of when, when you're looking at this, right? Like, you, you have originally had this. Uh, it couldn't have been, oh, I want to get it. Dave's going to want that. Like, what's the actual reason why you had this made? Because I wanted the, uh, I love the World Eaters. Before the World Eaters, it was actually the... Uh, you love the World the Eaters, corn, so you had Emperor the corn, the corn Demican was my first love. Yes. And 4A and, 4A and the Chaos. Yes. And, uh, Best codex ever. Correct. And then they got rid of it. Yes. It was the new edition, and it was turned into World Eaters Army. And I brought that up to play, and you wanted to purchase it, and uh, I had to have it, Tom. Yeah, well, you made a, a gracious offer, and I said, "That nah, I'll let it go for that price," and I did. And then I had a second army made. I was working on this for quite a number of years because I said, when I look at it, I pink death, pink death. <laughs> yeah. I looked at it and I thought pink death. That's yes, what you thought. I did. Okay. Uh, I like the power of the decimators, and yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And they're, that's they're how pretty, you make friends on the table. They're pretty good in close combat, so. I, I definitely don't think about that, though. I just think OP. That's what I think when I see those. Maybe. The green is, is traumatizing. Especially when you got three of them coming down the field at you. They're pretty traumatizing. Why would you do that? Like, one is bad enough. You know, you're not playing the game to make friends. You're just making memories of stomping your friends. <laughs> so <laughs> That's actually a good way of putting it, right? You want to stomp each other. That's the best way of doing it. How do you build an army? What's the first thing you think about? Honestly, you look at your HQ choices first and foremost. Find something that, you know, strikes a chord with you. I like the uh, Master of Possessions. Was that a pun because they're Ember Children and they're all about the, sil the sonic vibrations? Sign not really, because there is no noise marines in this army. How does that make sense? Well, because there's not a mini for it. I don't want to use the old ones. I did not find them aesthetically pleasing. You didn't like the way they look? No. They're just an outdated model. They need a new model. Perhaps in 2025 we'll get them. <laughs> but, um... I did not want to build them, so All I right. just went with three squads of six for the troop choices. and Three squads of six. I like that. Yeah. Slanesh's number. Slanesh's number. Okay, good. I looked at HQ choices first. The Master Possession I thought was really cool. Fabius Vile, you had to have Fabius Vile, even though you know, he's got his own faction now. Your Psychers. And the Master of Executions I always found to be an awesome model. They're in my old uh, World Eaters army, and I thought they'd be good in this one. Well, you had to have a flesh on Dave, you know, because he's, you know. A flesh suit? Yeah, he's Emperor's Children, so, you know, he's got to have some flesh on him somewhere for the enjoying of the flesh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, grotesque and uh, hideous. Yeah. And gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, let's face it. That's yeah. actually... Uh, Aspiring Champion did a great job with the paint jobs. Yeah, because that's not just the Emperor's Children. It's no. also a lot of the world leaders and a yeah. lot of things here, including the Warlord Titan. Yep. So what was the choice then behind the, the Warp Talons? Why, why those? Backfield shenanigans. You send them to somebody's backfield and they either deal with them, they cause chaos and take objectives that you might have not been too mindful to watch. And just regular Chaos Marines, because, yep. you know... Objectives. Three squads of six, and I had three chaos bonds. I had also done inverted. A, yep, they actually were for Age of Sigmar. What's the uh, faction in Age of Sigmar that they're um, converted from? Slaves to Darkness. They're a Slanash model. I don't remember their name. Fiends. Fiends, maybe fiends of Slanash. No, 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 no they're not fiends. It's not a fiend. It's something else. Correct. But I used. Well, that's them how we have. We don't know the name of them. chaos bonds. So yeah. that's why I used them as. Okay. There's gonna be someone in the comments like it's this. Well, of course there always is. You got one leader. You can only choose one leader. Which like one? 500 points. Yeah. Uh, starting yeah. a small, probably a uh, sorcerer. Okay, so what, what do you add to the sorcerer? What's, what's this the, is the sorcerer. What's the core? What's, what's the troop? Uh, probably three squads of six. You stick with the sacred number of uh, Slanesh. Three squads of six? Yeah. So that would have to be like five man squads. Pretty much. We're yeah, pretty so close 30 in total. Well, yeah. How do you figure 30? You, you just Three said, five man squads. Would three be 15. five man squads. See, this is why I don't add Mac but ones I, and zeros. I said six, so that would actually be 18, yeah, you're just 18 Marines. Out. It doesn't matter what you're saying. I'm just thinking of eights. <laughs> that, that's all it, it calculates to in my brain anyway. Yeah, but that would be good. I think OCD yeah. is there. In rhinos or no? Uh, of course. you got to bring transports. Why? Get, zip them up the field, get them to eject us. Okay, so you, you do play objectively? Yes, I try to. Okay. I think, uh, you know, rule leaders don't care. They just want blood and mayhem. And Truth. Skulls. Music to my ears. And I would focus on, I want to win, so... I'm going to focus but you on are winning. Yeah. By fielding, we're, we'll auto win. No matter what. Correct. And yeah. that's your goal is to cause chaos. and it's to come forward and see your reaction. You're going to get goal. it. But, you know, I, I want to actually win. So, what do you mean actually win? Like, I, I want to count as I win. It's a game. So when it's a game, we have, you know, objectives. And I objectively want to win. So and maybe like that, Maybe a, even a five-man squad of uh, warp counts. 
okay, to do the things in the back lines. Correct. Because you know I'm not going to be there. No. I'm going to corner forward. And uh, if these are still a thing, maybe one of these. Decimators? Decimator. Okay, so what's the last thing you bring? What's, what's a support unit that you would bring to round it out? Uh, probably spawn. We're talking about Not a Mauler Fiend? No, we're talking 500 points. If I'm bringing a Decimator and I'm bringing um, three squads of six and a Sorcerer and okay. some Rhinos, i uh, probably bring Spawn, a cheap support unit. And what would you add to this collection? Like I said, you can't go wrong with more troops, but I, I think hopefully in 2025, you'll get some Noise Marines. And, uh, Why that year again? What's the thing about 2025 that's uh, the thing? GW said it's going to be the year of chaos again, so we'll see what happens. Tom Shumi. It's not a bad thing. Uh, thanks for coming by. Hey, anytime.